the sign's like all fucked up because the wind right now, but Tonkatsu Tonki, everyone. I just had dinner here. I had some tonkatsu. If you don't know tonkatsu, ton is um, like pork or pig, and katsu is like a fried cutlet or some shit. Like gyu katsu is like um, fried, what the fuck, beef? And chicken katsu is like fried chicken, shit like that. So yeah, I just had dinner there. It was really fucking fire. This place, tonkatsu tonki, is like one of the most popular, one of the most famous tonkatsu teishoku places in all of Japan, or not Japan, but Tokyo, maybe all of Japan. Teishoku, meaning like set meal, tonkatsu teishoku. So you get a variety of little plates. They'll have like some uh, some pickled shit on it. You'll get some rice, you'll get some miso shiru, which is like soup. You'll get obviously your main, which is gonna be some cabbage, and on top of it will be a big piece of fried pork. And you'll get some karashi, which is like spicy mustard, and some tonkatsu sauce, which is just like a thick sauce. It was really fucking fire. Really good. I've been, I've been to that place one time before. Um, this is my second time. The reason I went is because I wanted to treat myself. Um, a. I got the funds finally to buy a ticket to go see my family and I'm ecstatic and I can finally, it feels like for the first time in like six months since I had the idea that I wanted to continue staying in Japan, that I wanted to continue trying to save my money and that I wanted to go to college here. Like ever since I had that idea, I've been so stressed, like losing my hair stressed out about trying to have enough money and seeing if I have enough money to do that and just trying to save, you know, penny pinch any any time I can, like in all aspects of life. And this feels like the first time in like six months that I can actually breathe and relax a little bit. So like shout out to you guys. Number one, I want to thank my subs. Literally, if it wasn't for you guys, I don't think, like I said, I don't know if I'll, I would be going to college out here. I don't know if I have the money to see my family, visit my family like I you guys are fucking awesome, insane. You guys have been donating and just watching my videos already. Like, just, I'll tell, like, I don't, I don't fucking care about, like, telling numbers. Like, of course, I'll tell you guys how much I made off of YouTube so far in the first, it's been one month since I got approved for the YouTube partnership program. Um, like, I don't remember, like, the exact amount of views and the exact numbers and anything, but I've made about $180 off of just ads so far and off of donations from you sick ass motherfuckers. I have made like 270 bucks, so like, that's nuts, dude. So like over $400, like $450 just from doing this YouTube shit that I just started randomly like two months ago, like crazy. I, I, I owe you guys everything. Anything you guys want me to do a video about whatever, like hit me up, guys, send me a message. Appreciate the fuck out of you guys. So number one, I want to thank my subs and all of you guys, that's fucking sick. Number two, I need, oh, I've already done this, but I want to shout her out on camera again. Not like she's going to see this, but I've already shouted her out on the phone. My grandma came through clutch as motherfucking hell. By the way, I'm in Meguro, by the way. I should have said that when I started the video. Meguro. It's, um, it's like a little area outside of Shibuya, which has been here for quite a bit. It's a little bit expensive, a little bit like upper class. So not too many like young people and foreigners are living in the area. Maybe in like a certain part of town, but yeah, it's a pretty nice place. Um, there's a dope ass river. So I'm gonna try to actually go to the river right now and show you guys what what's going on at the river. It's pretty cool. I don't know if there's gonna be any lights there or anything to see at night, but during the day it's super fun, super beautiful, especially during Sakura season. Um, so yeah, here in Meguro. By the way, okay, so what was I fucking saying? Oh yeah, I wanna give a shout out to my grandma. So I was on the phone with my mom like a week, like a week ago, about a week ago. About a week ago and she was like, Hey, I figure I should tell you this now. I just remembered this. Like, I guess it just like slipped her mind for the last like six months since I've set up and going to college here. Your grandmother, she says, your grandmother put away a bunch of savings for you f to appreciate when you were born. And if you ever go to college, she wants you to use those for college. And I was like, what? Like, you're shitting me. Like, you, 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 you just didn't tell me this? Like. She's like, yeah, I just forgot it. Anyways, my grandma put a bunch of savings away for me to like to help me pay for college. 
when I was born and they've just appreciated and appreciated and now I have like actually hella money to pay for my college so now I can afford to use the money which I, I sold my car that was in America and I got less money than I expected to get from my car but I can afford to use that money to pay for my ticket to go visit I can afford to use the money that the subscribers have been donating to me and that I've been getting off of YouTube to actually use for my life you know, like like to go visit my family and shit as opposed to literally just saving it and trying to use that toward college so shout out to my grandma my grandma literally saved my sanity just like you guys like just so sick so sick um i want to make this video about i want to touch on the topic of there's a, a gentleman by the name of simply modern i assume he's a gentleman actually i don't know here's the river yeah it's too dark i'm not gonna go over there right now because you're not gonna be able to see shit but the river is beautiful and there's a pathway along like the entire river the megado river and um it's really nice to run and shit like especially during sakura season it's beautiful there are sakura trees all up and down this river so a gentleman by the name of simply modern sent me some money on PayPal and requested that I do a video on the JET program. The JET program, I actually don't know what it is. Like I, I had no fucking idea what this was. I've never heard of it. So I had to do a little bit of research. I had to put my, my thinking cap on and see what I thought of it. The JET program apparently, as far as I could understand, is it provides an opportunity for Americans because like Jet Program USA, I'm not sure if there's other Jet Programs for other countries, but there's Jet Program USA, which I guess apparently like you apply and they provide an opportunity, they kind of like sponsor you to come and they hook you up with a job here in Japan um, for teaching English. And I believe it was like for a year or maybe two years, like, you know, a short time, something like that. But you know, they give you experience so you can live here in Japan. And then um, I was trying to look in and see if there's like restrictions on what you can do afterward. Like if you continue to work longer or you have to go back to your country. Because I know on certain exchange programs and shit like that, like you have to go back to your country. That's just like the deal. Like after you do your one year here, then like you have to go back to your country. And I couldn't, uh, I couldn't find anything on like that. But I was looking at all like the eligibility requirements and seeing what you needed to do in order to apply for this jet program because it looked pretty sick like you know obviously i already live here i already teach some english and you know so i don't need to do it but maybe for other people if like <clears throat> if you live in america and you're looking for a way to get to japan and you maybe don't have the money for language school and you don't know you know obviously it's pretty hard to get a job here without actually living here or without speaking the language so if you're looking for a way to get to Japan, it looks like super dope, and you live in America, obviously. So maybe look into it, Jet Program USA. Apparently you're going to apply, and they're going to hook you up with, you know, they're obviously, they're not gonna select everybody, but it said like whatever, a couple thousand are selected every year from America, and they're going to hook you up with an opportunity to come and live in Japan and teach English, which seems pretty dope. So, as I was saying, I don't know if there's a requirement that you have to like, after you finish working your year or whatever it is here, that you have to go back to America. But even if you do, and you wanna live in Japan for longer, you can always, do. if you live here, you can build all types of connections. You can meet people who can hook you up with a job. You can, yeah, I mean, basically like, you can meet people that can hook you up with a job or they can get you in somewhere. And then even if you have to go back to America, you can maybe have your foot in the door to come back here and you know get a more legit job or something else. So, or just another English-speaking job where you know where you can work here forever. So, definitely something sounds pretty interesting for it. You know, I've had a lot of people comment on my videos asking how they can get to Japan, especially if they don't have the money for language school or something like that. I'm gonna go this way. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I never come to Megudo. So, dude, look into that. Jet Program USA. Shout out to Simply Modern for bringing that up. I think that's dope. I think that's a super good opportunity. It seems like it is. Um, the only thing that I was a little bit annoyed at, but you know, like, I don't know, it's like, I have to think rationally because I was annoyed, but I, I understand it. I understand where they're coming from. Is they said that you have to have a bachelor's degree and it's like I get, I get where they're coming from. I mean, definitely that shit just seems a little arbitrary to me. 
but it was like you cannot you cannot apply if you don't have a bachelor's degree but like I mean so many fucking people who don't have bachelor's degrees are plenty confident and you know can speak English and can teach English fine and I understand that's more of just the easiest way of vetting just someone who's going to be reliable and be able to stick to something and be taken seriously but still I can't help but be just like a little bit annoyed at it because it seems like you know I mean this is probably just me being sour but everywhere I've gone in you know the last whatever it was nine years or something since I graduated high school it feels like it's just followed me around everywhere like oh you don't have a bachelor's degree so you can't do this it's like bro I'm fucking smarter more capable more qualified more driven than everybody that fucking works at your company <clears throat> just because I don't have a bachelor's degree like you know doesn't mean shit and you know in a lot of cases obviously not all of them but in a lot of cases it does and I, I, I do recognize though that's just natural that's just the easiest way to weed out people who may not be reliable and everyone that does finish college you know they have something to show for it so easy it's easy to just show that they're you know here's my bachelor's degree whatever I think it would be nice if certain places in the world at least started trying out different um, you know different qualifiers such as I don't know IQ tests or something like that obviously you know someone's gonna be like well IQ test don't prove anything like or don't don't prove everything like bro yeah well they prove a lot and I, I would argue that they prove more capability than a bachelor's degree does but hey what do I know no obviously that's definitely very circumstantially based and varies a lot of, on a lot of different things but I think I think the, it would be nice if the world would start incorporating IQ tests a little bit more because your boy got that big brain on him bro you get that big brain and plenty of people graduate college and have bachelor's degrees who are dumbasses and like especially in this day and age like we know how like how much bullshit college is you know for a lot of cases and everybody knows like so many dumbass people that got through college because they were given you know aids and, and scholarships and such that maybe they weren't deserving of and you don't actually have to like be a critical thinker to get through college you kind of just has to do the work which I mean fair enough it says a lot too I mean I guess you could also make the argument that you know being driven and being able to do the work and being able to stick with it says more about someone than you know just being able to be smart and um, not, you know just get through it without actually putting in a lot of work but I don't know at this point I know I'm just kind of rambling but anyways yeah it said you need a bachelor's degree so yeah I mean check it out man jet program USA I guess this is a good way for get the news out to the public of like dude if you want to come to Japan this is probably another good way for you to do it man jet program USA teach English in Japan look it up guys I think it's jetprogramusa.com shout out to simply modern that was a great question and something I learned about so thank you for um, the donation dude and thank you for the question and hopefully a lot of people that are watching this video will look into it and maybe even come to Japan because of you so thank you so much I appreciate that a lot guys I am going to be doing a I'm gonna be creating a discord I don't know how to use discord I've only used it a couple times like I created a discord a long ass time ago and then I never like really ever used it again but I'm going to be creating a discord for my followers and such so we can have a community of just bros and it's going to include all types of different things and topics obviously we're just gonna bro out and have normal discussions and just be there for each other and support each other I want to have like a part of the panel is gonna be about like mental health and just like supporting people and just um, you know trying to you know be an outlet for people to open up and you know talk about whatever they're going through another one I want to be gym is gonna be like another I don't even know what you call it like topic or chat room or something like that another one I want to be gym we share our progress pictures and motivate each other and give each other um, fitness advice and such um, health advice 
another one is going to be like Japanese um, resources. So I wanna have like, I'm gonna have, like I already have in there, I've actually started setting it up. I'm gonna have a bunch of links to like online textbooks, pirated like low key, low key, like um, free links to like textbooks and apps and useful resources for you to learn Japanese. Uh, definitely another one is gonna be just like general Japanese and maybe Japan, or maybe one will be like Japanese language study, like for people who just like want someone to study with, someone wants language partners. Maybe we can have like a voice chat room where you speak Japanese. Another one is gonna be like, you know, just Japan topic stuff, Japan related shit. Um, yeah, I think I had a couple other ones in mind, but those are the ones I'm thinking of right off the top of my mind. I started creating it, but I haven't gotten through to um, like finish it yet. And also I want to figure out how to put some type of paywall on it just because I want to keep like trolls out. Like I've already had like some trolls in my videos and shit. Well, I mean, naturally I do want to make a little bit of revenue as well, but it's not going to be anything crazy. Like I'm thinking like $5 maybe, like $5 to join and that'll be it. Cause like, I don't know. Like obviously, like I said, I'm trying to make a little bit of revenue. Help me, help a brother out. And two, just to keep the trolls out. Cause there've been like some fucking trolls like you commenting on all of my videos saying dumb ass shit. And I mean, I'm hoping that they won't like want to pay five dollars to be on my Discord, but I mean maybe this I mean maybe these trolls are just that fucking weird and they're gonna wanna you know be willing to pay to come troll me. So I mean if they're that dedicated to trolling me, then I mean fair enough. I'll take your five bucks. So yeah, I'm looking into creating that Discord right now. If anyone has like a lot of experience with Discord, let me know because I'm like really don't know how to use this shit. Like, dude, I'm a caveman. I do not know how to use technology. I don't know how to use apps like I was trying to figure out the other day and I kept like accidentally closing shit and like deleting shit and all types of stuff so I'm gonna make this discord it's gonna be cool yeah that's most of what I have to say for this video jet program USA guys check it out shout out to simply modern thank you very much I am in Megudo check out tonkatsu tonki it is incredible tonkatsu um, yeah I think that's most of what I had to say all right, peace.